Hello children. In this video, we will learn about the use of tally marks. Today, a unique fancy dress contest is going to be held in Champapur. Chanda, Babban, Sher Khan, Gaggu and Bhola have participated in the competition. Look, the competition has started. All the contestants are coming on stage one after the other. The contest is over. Barbole uncle, the host of the competition, told the audience, The names of all the contestants have been written on the board placed near the stage. You can vote for the contestant whose costume you liked the most. Draw a vertical line like this for the first vote. For the second vote, create a horizontal line in this way. For the third vote, a vertical line like this. And for the fourth vote, once again a horizontal line. And for the fifth vote, we will make a diagonal line like this to form a group of tally marks and then for further votes we will repeat this process and make groups of tally marks at the end of the day whoever gets the most votes will be the winner of this contest the day is over and all the viewers have casted their votes now Uncle started counting the tally marks written on the board. Let's see which contestant has got how many votes. Let us see how many votes Gaggu has received. How many groups of tally marks are there? Yes, there is only one group of tally marks and three lines. This means Gaggu has got five and three. Eight votes. Children, can you tell us how many votes Babban has got? Yes, absolutely right. There are two groups of tally marks and two lines in front of Babban's name. This means Babban has got 12 votes. Children, can you tell how many more votes has Sher Khan received than Babban? Sher Khan's votes consist of three groups of tally marks and one line. Sher Khan has got three times five, fifteen, plus one, sixteen votes. And Babban has got twelve votes. This means Sher Khan has got four votes more than Babban. Now, can you tell how many more votes has Chanda got than Sher Khan? If you wish to, you may stop the video and find the answer. Yes, Chanda has received 19 votes and Sher Khan has got 16 votes. This means Chanda got 3 more votes than Sher Khan. Barbole uncle too, like you, counted the votes and announced the winner of the contest. Children, can you tell who won the contest by getting the most votes? Absolutely right! Chanda with the maximum votes, 19 votes, won the contest. Barbole uncle gave Chanda the trophy and the audience started clapping and cheering loudly. Children, in this video, we learned about the use of tally marks. In the next video, we will learn more about it through some interesting examples. Hello children, in the previous video, we learned about the use of tally marks. In this video, we will learn more about it through some interesting examples. 
Champapur is experiencing heavy rains. Roads have got damaged in many places. Children are unable to go to school due to the road leading to the school getting damaged. The Panchayat has decided that all the villagers together will help in repairing the roads. You are requested to extend your help in this work. On behalf of Champapur News, I am Pappan Reporter with Cameraman Bunny sending this live news to you. Keep watching Champapur News. Bablu and Raju saw this news on TV. Come Bablu, let us also help the villagers. Raju told Bablu. When Raju and Bablu reached there to help them repair the road, they saw that uncle had drawn such a table on a board. It will take us a total of 48 hours to fix the road. Every day, at the end of the day, I will record the number of hours we worked for that day by making tally marks in this table. Uncle told the villagers there. One week got over and all the villagers worked hard and got the road fixed. All the villagers are eager to know on which day the most work was done. Children, can you look at this table and tell on which day the villagers have done the most work? If you wish to, you can find the solution by stopping the video. First, we will count the tally marks of the work done every day and write the number in this way. The maximum work, 12 hours of work was done on Monday. Hey, Bablu, look, by the end of this day, we had completed more than half of the total hours. Raju told Bablu. Children, can you tell which day is Raju talking about? If you wish to, you may stop the video and find the answer. The villagers had to work together for 48 hours. Half of 48 is 24. Therefore, to find a solution to this question, we first have to find the total of the hours of work completed by the end of each day. Then, we have to find out by the end of which day was more than 24 hours of work completed. 12 hours of work was completed by the end of Monday. By the end of Tuesday, 12 plus 7. 19 hours of work was completed. By the end of Wednesday, 19 plus 9. 28 hours of work was completed. Since 28 is more than 24, by the end of Wednesday, more than half of the total hours of work had been completed. This means the day Raju is talking about is Wednesday. Yes, Raju. And look, on this day, four more hours of work were completed than this day. Bablu told Raju. Children, can you tell which two days is Bablu talking about? To find a solution to this question, we have to find two days in which the difference between the hours of work completed is four. If we look closely, we will find that seven hours of work were completed on Tuesday and eleven hours on Thursday, which is four more than seven. So, Bablu is talking about Tuesday and Thursday. Raju, we worked so hard and finally got the road to the school fixed. Yes, Bablu, I agree. There is a lot of strength and unity. Let us go home and prepare to go to school tomorrow. All the villagers happily returned to their respective homes. Children, 
In this video, we learned more about the use of tally marks through some interesting examples.